What's wrong, though? I have ovary pain, like my ovary hurts, and I'm scared of PCOS. What do you mean? Are you racist? Did he just accidentally do the SpongeBob you're scaring him meme? And look, I can understand getting POC, getting mixed up with PCOS, because sometimes I read words backwards or see numbers as upside down. Uh, but th that's a little bit different than the two. One's a body thing, and the other one's a... Uh, bad. I'm fairly certain my mind is going to be stuck on that whole thing being an accidental meme for the next 10 minutes. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash not our girls work and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Let me know down below what video game you like to see and may get featured in a future video because I always like playing new games. Can pregnant women go swimming? Yeah, I don't know why I just sounded like Zap Brannigan, but okay, we're going on. I'm a man, so I don't know. Is it possible for a pregnant woman to go swimming without intentionally drowning the baby? Again, how can the baby breath if the veg is underwater? Uh, should the woman keep the veg above the water so the baby can breathe without the V? Um, I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a minute to um, uh, accept the fact that some dude thinks that the baby breathe out the cooter. That is not a snorkel. That is not a snorkel. Stop it now. This is just proof that every single day the earth is not exploding is another day that we are getting closer and closer to um, idiocracy being accurate as heck. And I'd say honestly at this point I can guess we're about 72% there. See you sparked the weeb in me. You look like a hot waifu. Also, I love the goth look on you. Have you ever talked to an Asian woman in your life? Uh, nope. I'm uh, not that lucky. If you can't handle a weeb, then you gotta go attractive Asian lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. I mean, look, I'm all for watching anime, but please do not associate every single Asian person in existence with anime. I, I kind of feel like that's some bit of a bad thing to do to somebody, is associate their culture with just a source of media, that being the only affiliation. Like, me being American, nobody's gonna automatically want to eat 10 burgers just because they see me and everything. It's like, hey, I'm American. Dang, now I want to get you a burger. Lactophobia. Why do some people have a thing for breast milk? It's a very common thing in a lesbian relationship to mutually lactate, as it often is seen as a symbol of intimacy and affection. Um... Look, I don't know exactly how a lesbian relationship works, I'm not exactly a lesbian myself, uh, but I'm fairly certain anybody I ask say that if you like somebody, I'm fairly certain, uh, you don't show it by, um, you know, like, that, that is not the lesbian stiffy. And I noticed that I mixed up philia with phobia, and, uh, you know what, I'm already too far down the rabbit hole to change anything. St. Xavier's Kolkata teacher is shamed and forced to quit after a student looked at her swimmer pics on Instagram. A 30-year-old teacher was reportedly forced to quit by the university authorities for putting up objectionable posts on her Instagram feed, which the college authorities claimed was besmirching the reputation of the institution. I want to see right now what one of those dum-dums on the authority staff look like, because I know for a fact one of them at least has to be looking like they asking Mike Wazowski for their paperwork. I mean, this article has already stated that they're always watching. But like, seriously, imagine losing your job because you have a social life. God forbid you have a social media platform that has absolutely nothing to do with your line of work, and I always find that weird that you will have to watch what you put on social media because your work could watch. And like, if it's not political, is you just wearing a bathing suit and you imagine getting fired for that so yeah no i will absolutely clown on anybody that does anything that is absolutely petty and non-related to anything that anybody gets fired for and it's not like the university teacher was showing that she was punting babies on her social media no she was wearing a bathing suit i don't know why girls can't just donate their period blood instead of wasting it like you could donate it to soldiers or ukrainian children instead yeah no this dude about summing up my thought process right now trying to comprehend this. I don't exactly deal with period blood myself, um, but last I checked, uh, women don't exactly carry around a catch can for an entire week, nor do I even think is that blood even usable. If anybody can fill me in, uh, let me know, please, because I honestly 
feel like it's not. Any woman that I want to marry must, first of all, stay with my mom for six months to a year so that my mom can uh, train her and let her know how to take care of me. Though, if she didn't make it so that you're able to self-sustain yourself, why would you bring anybody else into the equation to try to fix that? How much of a man-child you gotta be to think that you gotta bring somebody else into the equation to do everything outside of wiping your butt? Like, I'm looking for somebody to spoon-feed me. What, you never learned how to eat for yourself? Why do women always scream? It does not add anything to the situation other than more panic. Someone please elaborate. Why are you asking for somebody else to explain? You're the one that made the statement. I want to see you explain it. Because right now, you're full-on going all, yeah, them, uh, them darn blasted women and, um, getting spooked. Am I the antagonist for suggesting to my girlfriend that she could work out at the gym to get a bigger chest? My girlfriend has pretty small breasts, which I don't really mind that much, but she recently asked me what type of them I like, and since I was trying to be honest, I told her usually big ones, like D cup or more. She seemed a bit sad about it, and then asked me if I still liked her, and I said of course, and told her hers were fine too. She said it's not like she could do anything to get bigger ones anyway, except for surgery, and asked me if I wanted that. I told her if she wanted surgery, I'd support her, but she didn't have to get it for me. Also, I said she could just go to the gym and do more bench presses and such. Then she would get bigger ones too. She said she had never heard about that and claimed that it wasn't true. I said plenty of guys who did it had big ones like Arnold, so she could do it too. I think she just doesn't want to put in the work. Am I the antagonist? This has me honestly kind of thinking if this dude thought that you could exercise, gain muscle, but also because of the exercise, not burn fat in specific areas. If you do a bunch of chest pressed, yes, the pectoral muscles under the layer of fat that is known as the booba uh, will actually develop. But also at the same time, when you burn fat, it doesn't really discriminate on where it gets burned. Uh, so like you'll shrink, but shrinking everywhere. At least that's my experience with doing chest exercises. Like whenever I've exercised a lot, yeah, I lose fat and gain muscle, but I haven't really noticed anything in myself outside of maybe some muscle definition. Also, I'm very, very confused as to why the dude compared his girlfriend's breast to um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> LOL. Two times it happened to me. A girl had a, an organism just from giving me a handy. Yeah, man, don't you know? She definitely gets to the whole oh my god, yes stage by just doing the whole bop it instructions. Twist it, pull it, pop it, ring it. And let me guess, what happened next? They all clapped? Thought me when I hit something incorrect, but I'm fairly certain I could keep this going for a pretty long time. But you know what? We got more video to get to. Wife, before we got married, you used to give me expensive gifts. Husband, have you ever seen a fisherman give worms to a fish he already caught? Ah yes, you know, I forgot that they were doing a continuation on that classic Saturday morning series that everybody loved watching. What object are women this week? This week's a trout. Let me know if I'm missing anything. Things that are for girls only. I legitimately hope that this list wasn't built off of asking people in person. Because I've seen some of this list in person. This is right up there with the kind of stupid that you'd see people preaching outside of conventions with. Lowercase letters. Ah, uh, yes. You know, because guys are just all caps. Chocolate milk. Look, if I want some chalky milk, that don't make me a girl. Although, that'd be a little weird if I drank a thing of milk and... Suddenly, I was one. DMing celebrities. What the f it, I feel like this list is just gonna be the whole eat hot chips and lie thing, but with DLC. Just what we needed for that wonderful dumpster fire of a post. An expansion pack. Blacking out. Um, again, I guess that means I'm a girl now, because, you know, alcohol is sometimes tasty. I got some banana cream stuff, and it's good. Never try anything associated with pickles and alcohol, though, because um, that, that tastes like a Guantanamo Bay interrogation method. Like, if you've seen before, I want to get into streaming, and I'm fairly certain the spicy pickle vodka shot is going to wind up on the punishment wheel somewhere. Being a blonde, I think you just straight up hate blondes now. Again, why? It, I, I don't like how many of these I'm already checking off. And anybody that thinks that only girls are allowed to be blonde, black out, DM celebrities, drink chalky milk, and have lowercase letters, y'all gotta be like a walking buzzkill at this point. This ain't even anywhere near the end of the list. Astrology. Honestly, I just like the cosmic aesthetic. There was this vapor thing that I kept on seeing at Oticon, and it looks cool. Matching pajama sets. I can't tell if this is like you have the bottom that matches the top, because that just kind of sounds 
sounds comfy and there are some silk ones that just sound or feel just absolutely nice or if you're talking like you're matching with your homies because that also sounds pretty cool using emojis okay so literally so basically 99 percent of the human population is now women yeah d okay selfies ah uh, yes you know because taking a photo of yourself definitely means you're a girl i didn't know you could have negative iq points but no apparently we're making new discoveries today homie hopping um if anybody can fill me in on what that is, is that like you go from one friend's hangout to the next or something? Because I, I feel like my my brain's kind of big empty after the majority of this. Social media. I'm fairly certain that one was put up there by some dude who thinks that everybody is tracking him and that his only safe source of social media is apparently Discord. But even then, that might qualify as social media depending on how, what you define as social. And private stories. Ah, uh, yes, you know, because unless it's public, you're definitely a woman. Okay, so I guess after all of that list, uh, where I do sit myself, uh, well, I mean, my channel is a majority of different variations of the word Tommy, Timmy, Tan. You might as well just add Tomboy to the rest. You'd kind of just complete the set. Professional moving tools provides the versatility of a single person lifting for bulky items or multi-person lifting for heavier objects for girl use, single use, or double use. I honestly almost forgot that the whole even a woman could do it was actually a point in advertising a while, whiles back. Please do not put tea bags, nappies, or any other sanitary disposables down the toilet. Please use the bin provided. Hey yo, if any of my subs in UK could actually point out whether or not the sign is actually still up, please do let me know. Hello, I was just wondering if you were selling content of yourself. You are very beautiful, so I thought I would ask if that is something you do or are willing to do. If not, uh, no problem at all. I mean, I'll tell you this right now, this is not really the best thing to be sending as an oper, but then again, there have been way, way worse things. I like, I know this is bad, but I'm just glad he wasn't just saying send booba. But with that last dum-dum, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Maybe check out another video or two, that'd be darn dandy of you. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.